Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to pull wire through conduit. You guys come on. So let me walk you through what we're going to be doing. This little building is going to house all of our solar stuff. We'll just call it that. And as you can see, we're putting in our solar panels and we put underground conduit from the, this building. And this is the wire that's going to be running uh, the solar power into this little building. So it goes underground here. This is a one inch conduit. It goes along and it comes back up to this junction box. Now this junction box has an in, inlet and an outlet. So again, it's going to come down and loop over to the next panel. There's going to be two of these panel systems. So let's show you how to do it. And I'm going to take you step by step and we'll show you what mistakes we make. And we've done it before. So I think we've got a good handle on this. You have to be able to put a vacuum hose from your vacuum cleaner on one end. In this case, it's going to be kind of hard to get into this end. The other end is going to be a lot easier to get it into. So we're going to use, we're going to pull the vacuum through from this side. So the, the bag will actually be sucked through. All you have to do is just tie a little knot so it doesn't pull the bag off. So all you have to do is tie that little knot to keep the, where the string can't pull off and then tie a knot in the bag so that the knot can't pull over the bag. So the bag's pretty slick. That's the whole purpose. Then all you're gonna do is take the bag and gently try to push it into the hole without causing any damage. You don't want to stuff it in there so hard that it's hard to get through. And then the next portion is, is you're going to have to have enough string let loose so that it can pull its way across. So that's roughly the same distance. Now here's the ticket. Sometimes grass, little clods of dirt can cause this to hang up. So. Do your best to make sure that there's nothing going to hang this up. So this is a little vacuum cleaner we got from Harbor Freight. And if this works, this is a game changer because it's battery powered and uh, it's got some pretty good suction. So I think it's going to work. I think I, I think I closed the uh, I stuffed the plastic bag in there too tight. I think you're going to have to hold it. Yeah, that's pretty tight. You're just gonna have to pull back on it and let it help it help it through. It's a two-person process. I mean, this thing is very small vacuum cleaner too. It don't have enough. Pulling on the thing. Let me make the thing smaller. Well, don't don't take it off. Leave that on. I need to make a. Yeah, you don't have to make it smaller, just make this smaller. You have to cut that off. Oh, no, 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 not make it too much or not because it's a... Uh... That's way smaller than a hole is. No, I mean, this is too much. you got to have enough that it fluffs the... That's one thing, it's hanging. This stuff is hanging on the pipe and it's not, it's hanging in there. All right. The big shop vac has a lot of a lot of vacuum pressure. All right, remember they got a C2, so don't don't get in the way. Uh oh, we got it right. So that definitely works once we got it right apparently there was dirt in the holes too where i was working there's a little bit of i'm gonna go ahead and run the vacuum on this other one before we start a little bit of mud in there 
Oops. Forgot to. Uh, So now we've got our first piece through. I'm happy with that. That worked really well. Once we got the bugs worked out. Now the next thing we're going to do is just cut off the excess string. And now it's, now it's ready. We're ready to feed, uh, feed wire. Yeah. All right. So this is the contraption that I'm making. Now I got my, my saw horses here. And they've got these little slots that are perfect for setting two by fours in to make like little temporary work tables. What also works is a really good cable feed. So all we're gonna do is put our cable in so it rotates pretty easily. And then we'll pull all of our cable at one time. So that's the goal. So this is an eight gauge copper, tin coated copper wire that we're using to pull our solar this is big enough that if we ever decide to upgrade in the future, it should meet all of our needs. So it's really important that you get your, your wire rolls the right direction. You're going to take the, so when the wire rolls over, it's pulling off at the same, the same way. If you don't, it could cause you some heartache. So what I'm going to do here is just tie a knot around the base of this. And then we'll tape it because the knot's not going to hold it, but it will keep the wire together and make it easier to tape. Your thing's hotter in the sun and stickier. So what I found in the past is to stagger the wire. So I got one wire a little bit longer than the next one and then the next one. And that way it's not one big giant end coming at the hole. The next thing is to tape this, but you don't want to make wads of tape. And I hate to, you know, we're doing this for people that's never done it before. If you make a big wad of tape, it's going to actually hang up. So you want to make your tape smooth and keep it as narrow. That it, so that way it goes through the, the tube or the conduit a lot easier. Just work my way down. I wish I had uh, come up with it, the vacuum cleaner ideal. That's not mine. It's something I've seen done before and I just copied it. But I still thought it'd make a good video for somebody that's never done it before. And I could break it down to a new person doing it because I'm a new person. All right, so there we go. Yep, go ahead. Natanya's going to pull the string on the other end, and I'll get it started. She's going to keep pulling just a little bit at a time, and we're going to work it work it through. This is what I'm talking about. you got to have the cables. Now i got my cables on top of one another. Hang on. Well, that sucked. There it goes. a little bit keep pulling keep pulling there you go. yeah this was not a, this was seem like a great idea at the time but my little conduit roll If I had to do it over again, I would I would have wound all this up on this conduit. Because now all I've got is just a big giant mess. All my professional electricians out there are laughing at me, but these are things we do when you're new. I've done I pulled wire before, but you know not enough to be a pro at it. So hopefully somebody can learn from this. Right, a little more. But it's going through, and that's what really matters. Mm 
Yeah, I probably should have just pulled this all out and laid it on the ground. Would have been a lot easier. Okay, go ahead and pull. All right, hold on. If this was on spools, it would have done fine. All right, pull. All right, pull. The last time that I'd done this little trick, I had the wire on spools, and that's why it done so well. I never even dreamed about this big mess I just made. It's coming, and it's still way better than trying to do it any other way. All right, go ahead and pull a little bit more. That should be more than enough there. Okay. Yeah, it's just gonna be easier to pull it out like this. Big old tangled mess. All right, so I need to have enough for my, to go in the building to work with. So note here, if you're going to do this, if you have spools of wire, you can use my little trick. If you don't have spools of wire, then definitely don't do that because I made it pretty, pretty bad. So I picked this wiring kit up. This is made specifically for solar installation, crimping the solar, the solar ends, but it's got nice wire cutters. I'm going to leave a link to this if you're interested in it. It's just got it off of Amazon, but uh, it's really nice to have this kind of stuff handy. It's got a wire stripper, crimper, the tools to take off the solar connectors, and then a wire, set of wire cutters. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm giving myself ample wire. Good set of wire cutters. It's got the little lock, clamps it back down. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take these wires. I've got ample wire left over. If you're interested in this build, we're gonna do a complete build, our video on the build of the solar, but the red wire and the black wire, those are the uh, solar wires. That's where the high voltage DC comes in from the solar panels. And this is a 12 volt wire that's gonna control the automatic, it's gonna get, provide power for the automatic tracking system. So we're gonna go ahead and st stab all this through into the building. Nice and clean. We'll take this in here where the, where our tape is. I'm just gonna snip this off instead of trying to untape all this. That's eight gauge wire and these things just right through it. So we made a mistake with our wire before. I'm gonna see if I can correct that on this one to see if it's a little bit easier. And we guys, we'll show you what we do on this one as well. Don't laugh, don't make fun. There you go. Dun dun. <laughs> or what's that one little cartoon? Dun dun dun. Belt. Belt. Yeah, I like belt. What was that? Crudes. 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 Last good cartoon I've ever seen. All right. So again, we're going to take our string. We'll tie a knot around it back here. just to hold them together. I staggered the wires again. One wire at a time, basically, is what I'm trying to get through there. Can't really work and talk at the same time. I don't think my computer's got enough computing power. One, again, don't make the tape really thick, big knots, because it will hang up the in the pipe. Again, my computer just quit right in the middle of talking. All right, you got this one, Tanya, if you want 
just you I think you'll see this one is a lot easier because we're not worrying about the wire now this is a uh, we put the wire out straight so it should help be like, this should go really quick she's pushing in a little bit as I pull the string on this in a little bit more help help make that turn there All right, we got it out on this end. So we got this dramatic moment where we pull the wire out. This dun 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 dun. Oh no. Okay, there we go. We still got to get some more pull. Pull through time. I'm having a lot of excess. I bought a lot of excess wire. I believe that should be more, more than it. That's good. That's more than enough. That took us about 30 minutes to run the wire through this one, which would have been less time if I had have laid the wire out. A learning curve, I just learned something. Don't, don't put loose wire on a stick. We run all the way through here, down again to the second one, and we got our wire hanging out here. Now we're ready to move forward. I hope this helped you with uh, running uh, wire through conduit. We've done this with four inch conduit all the way down to one inch conduit. Listen, God bless.